SQL Server 2012 certifications. Hey everyone, Garth Schulte, in this micro nugget, we're going to look at and bring some clarity to all the different certifications and the paths that we need to take to acquire them here in SQL Server 2012. So we're going to cover the MCSA, which is the Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate. Then we'll also talk about the two MCSEs, which are the Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert. There's Data Platform and Business Intelligence, a couple of different paths there. And we'll even talk about the MCSM, the Microsoft Certified Solutions Master. Let's start here from scratch. Let's say that you have no prior SQL Server certifications or experience. Where do you start and how do you get there? And then we'll look at the upgrade paths in case you do have a prior certification in SQL Server 2008. So your first goal, if you're starting this from nothing, is you, you want to acquire this right here, the MCSA, the Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate for SQL Server 2012. What this will do is get all of the foundational stuff out of the way and go a little bit beyond that as well. You'll start here with 461, 70-461, which is querying Microsoft SQL Server 2012. In this exam, you're going to cover how to create database objects, work with data, modify data, and troubleshoot and optimize queries, all using Transact SQL. So learning the basics of Transact SQL will be your main priority in 70-461. From there, we'll move into 70-462 which is a database administration fundamental exam, making sure that you're proficient with all the different things that database administrators do. The big ones are gonna be installation and configuration of SQL Server and its surrounding components, such as integration services, reporting services, analysis services, and SQL Server agent. You also get very familiar with man managing and maintaining an instance and a database within SQL Server. Uh, also managing data through backups and restorations. You'll also look at security, a big part of 462 is security and understanding how to grant access to your SQL Server and to the databases within an instance and also work with permissions on securables, all that fun stuff. Uh, and you'll even get familiar here with high availability. You'll need to know how to work with Always On, the brand new feature in 2012, uh, always on availability groups and always on failover cluster instances. You'll also need to uh, get familiar with database mirroring and replication, all part of the high availability section of the exam. Once you've proved yourself in the world of 70-462, you can move in to 70-463, which has us implementing data warehouses with SQL Server 2012. Now, a lot of people, when they see data warehouses, they immediately think of SQL Server analysis services, and that's only partially true. In fact, this exam doesn't touch SQL Server analysis services at all. Most of this exam is actually going to be focused on SQL Server integration services our ETL tool that we use to extract, transform, and load data into a data warehouse. Analysis services will get heavily covered in 70-466 when you're on your MCSE Business Intelligence Certification path. So think of analysis services as the advanced site of data warehousing. You're going to do multi-dimensional data warehousing, where 70-463 is going to cover the basics of relational data warehousing and getting you familiar with the star, star versus the snowflake schema. You'll get familiar with dimensions and fact tables and hierarchies and attributes and just all the basics of designing a data warehouse. But again, most of this exam is going to focus on SQL Server integration services and how we can use this wonderful tool to load up data from many different data sources into our data warehouse. Uh, the end of this exam is going to have you focus, or at least have the fundamentals down, of master data services and data quality services. A couple of new components, one of them came out in 2008 R2, another one here in 2012. Both of them allow us to, uh, to bring a little bit more consistency and have a little bit more control over our data. So nail 461, 462, and 463, and you will become a Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate, proving that you are proficient in all the fundamentals and beyond of SQL Server 2012. So if you acquire MCSA, then you can head down your MCSE tracks. We have a few of them. MCSE stands for Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert, specialized tracks. One of them focuses on data platform, which is really database developer. So if you want to become a database developer, then 464 and 465 is what you'll need to focus on. And, and you'll be amazed at how much crossover is between these exams and the one you already took for your MCSA. For example, 464 is very much like 461. It just delves a little bit deeper into the topics, but you're still going to be working with stored procedures, views, user-defined functions, tables, and, and indexes, uh, optimizing your queries and coming up with strategies for query optimization. Uh, but it's really going to focus on Transact SQL and how to work with all the database objects using Transact SQL. 70-465 is the design exam. And this is really just going to make sure that we know how to measure before we cut. So it's going to focus heavily on designing our database structure 
ahead of time. Uh, ensuring that we know how to translate business requirements into database objects. Uh, how we can physically map out our database structure on paper before doing it. So we know ahead of time where our database files are going, what drives are going to, how much processor and memory we have available to us, and how we're going to slice it up across our instances, that kind of thing. Also designing your security strategy, designing your high availability strategy, designing your maintenance strategy, your backup strategy. So just, just a big design exam to make sure that you know, uh, again, really how to, to, to get this stuff out on paper and have a strategy in place for doing all this before actually doing it. 466 is going to focus heavily on analysis services with a dash of reporting services. So all the cool things that we can do with multi-dimensional data warehousing through analysis services and then all the different ways that we can create reports and even work with giving our users ad hoc report access using reporting services. And this is also going to touch on how to integrate with SharePoint. SharePoint is Microsoft's collaboration tool and there's a couple of cool features that SQL Server integrates into SharePoint through an installation. Optionally we can we can do that and uh, there's some neat tools, some new ones in Power View and Power Pivot uh, awesome tools that we can use to slice and dice data. And then 467 is going to be your design exam for business intelligence, where it's going to focus on designing your business intelligence infrastructure. And again, focus heavily on setting up uh, your analysis services strategies, your reporting services strategies, even designing an ETL solution through your SSIS. So coming up with a strategy for utilizing SQL Server integration services. Now there's one more certification out there that comes after the MCSE data platform. It's called your Microsoft Certified Solutions Master, your MCSM data platform. And this exam, or this, this certification, which actually contains two exams, is going to ensure that you're deeply knowledgeable in all the administration and design and beyond of SQL Server 2012. So the MCSM certification and the two exams associated with it will not be available until sometime in 2013, but we do know that one of them is a knowledge exam and the other one is a lab exam. Now, the last thing I want to show you here is the upgrade paths here in 2012 for these certifications, and here they are. So if you want to get your MCSA and you have any MCTS, Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist, on SQL Server 2008, then you can take the 457 and the 458 exam, and that'll get you your MCA. And these are really just uh, all three of these meshed in to two that take out a lot of the redundancy that you probably already know from passing your 2008 exam. So you'll definitely be experiencing a lot of the new features in 457 and 458. And then you'll notice for data platform, same thing, 457, 458, same thing with business intelligence, 457, 458. So those are going to be your popular upgrade exams uh, that you'll need for each one of these certification upgrades. And also notice the prerequisites. So you'll need to be an MCITP database developer or database administrator to go for your data platform. And the specific one then you'll need after 457, 458 is 459 for data platform and then 460 for business intelligence. And also note you'll need to have an MCITP in Business Intelligence in SQL Server 2008 to be eligible for the upgrade exams. So there you go. There are your certification paths for SQL Server 2012. Hopefully I brought a little bit of clarity to it for you. Uh, but again, the big one here that everyone's going to shoot for right off the bat is your MCSA. And then you can do your two specialized MCSEs. Hopefully in the future we'll all be MCSMs and masters at SQL Server 2012. I hope this has been informative for you, and I thank you for viewing.